Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another plan with me and this week I am so excited to be um, planning my first week in my brand new 2018 neutral Erin Condren and this week I'm using this gorgeous mini kit from Lily and Miko Designs that I'll have linked down below and I was a little bit nervous about planning this because there weren't any um, headers on the planner but I was so excited to finally use it and the washi strips were a little bit too thick for my liking, so I just trimmed them up a little bit before I laid them down. And then you'll see here in a minute what I do with the extra little pieces that I trimmed off. So I just took the extra little strips, I only cut off a little bit of them, and laid that across the top so I could pull in the washi at the top of my planner and I just did that for both sides before moving on to my sidebar. And I do apologize, one for my hair being in frame. I usually wear it up, but I couldn't find a hair tie and I wanted to hurry up and film this really quick before the sun went down because I do use natural lighting. And so also you'll see towards the end of the video that the lighting gets kind of weird as the sun setting. So first I just started with my quote box that says Happy New Year. And below that I laid down a glitter header. Then next I just put down two habit trackers and I don't write them in on camera I don't think but the first one I just used to track posting in my Facebook group which I'll have linked down below and the second one I just tracked to use wearing my retainer because that's something I'm pretty bad at remembering to do. Then I put down one of those lighter pink glitter headers below those along with the Monday through Sunday tracker that I always use to track my spending. Then at the top of my planner, I just covered up the page flags and I did have a little trouble with it because in my other colorful planner, I didn't have page flags to cover up. And this one was a little bit see-through, so I just put a piece of deco over the top of it to cover up that asterisk. And then on the bottom of it, I didn't really have any Happy Meal to track for this week, so I just put down a bunch of deco to take up the space right there. Moving on to Monday, Monday was New Year's Day and it made me so happy that the first day in this planner was like Monday, like January 1st is a Monday. I just put down that full box that says 2018 and then at the bottom I laid down a checklist and I started with the checklist like putting it down at the bottom because I wasn't sure where the header was going to end up being at. So then I just put a glitter header over the top of it and then above that I put down a quarter box with a um, Crying Luna sticker from Shine Sticker Studio to mark that I was saying goodbye to my boyfriend, Zach, because he is in the military and so he had to go back to where he's stationed and I was really sad to have to say goodbye to him again. And above that, I put down an Etsy icon from the kit to mark that I wanted to work on some new releases. Moving on to Tuesday, I put down this um, orangey tan glitter header followed by a quarter box and I just put down a little airplane icon to mark that Zach was leaving but he actually ended up not leaving until Wednesday because a whole bunch of flights were canceled. My camera accidentally cut off the next part but I just put down a strip of washi with the payday icon from the sampler sheet that came with the kit, another glitter header below that and a checklist. Then I put down a light pink glitter header below that with a um, half box and I just put it vertically so it would take up a bunch of space because I was going to be spending a lot of time that evening um, printing and cutting orders so that little printer and the silhouette cutting machine are from my planning addictions I'll have a coupon code linked down below for her at the bottom of that checklist I put down a doctor's appointment label from my planning addictions because I had a doctor's appointment and then on Wednesday, I started with a checklist and I peeled up a little bit so I could put that full box behind it just to cover up the little line that was on the bottom. Then starting at the bottom, I put down a half box, which I don't fill in until later. And moving back to right below the full box, I put down another doctor appointment label from My Planning Addiction. And it doesn't go all the way across, so I just whited it out, waited for it to dry, and then laid it back down. Then I put down a book icon from the kit to mark that I wanted to try to get some reading done because lately I haven't been reading as much as I used to at all. 
Going back to that half box, I put down a house icon from the kit to mark that we were having dinner at my dad's at 6.30 before, um, sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. And then moving on to the second half of the week, I put down that page flag, and it was dark enough to cover up the asterisk, but I just wanted to balance it out with the other side, so I put down another piece of deco on top of it. And I also laid down the weekend banner. Then I started laying down my full boxes. This one on Thursday took me a couple tries to get it straight enough. I wanted to make sure I left a little bit of white space uh, between it and the washi strip at the top, just because I am a white space planner and I feel like sometimes if I try to do no white space, it just ends up looking too cluttered. <coughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. Um, I just put down the rest of the half boxes and pretty much all of the glitter headers that I was going to be using for the rest of the spread. Then moving back to Thursday, I put down a checklist at the bottom with one of those peach colored glitter headers on top. And then here's where I put down the rest of the glitter headers also. Starting on Thursday, I put down an appointment label from the kit with a sushi um, sticker from my shop. Just to mark that we were having sushi at 3.30 for an early dinner. Then I put down one of these double dots, I think that's what they're called, with a Target Run sticker. I believe that is from Sticker Blush or Sticker Lux. Okay, I just looked real quick and it's from Sticker Lux Co. Um, I made my order with them at the same time as I made my order with sticker blush so I always get the two confused. So um, lastly on Thursday I just put down a bill due to mark that my Spotify bill was due and then on Friday I put down a quarter box or a half box at the top to mark that it was free kit Friday in my shop and if you're not following me on Instagram free kit Friday is something new that I started doing in my shop. Um, this is only the second one. So on Fridays, I will have a kit that is voted on in my Facebook group. And if you spend $20, you get a free basic kit. And if you spend $30, you get a free deluxe kit. So I just put down a checklist with another glitter header, a quarter box with a once more with love munchkin that just has a suitcase to mark that I needed to pack. Then on Saturday, I put down this little road trip sticker that didn't exactly match, but it was the closest match that I had left on the sheet. That's from My Planning Addictions with a little quarter box label to mark that I was going back to college, which didn't actually happen due to some personal reasons. I won't be going back for like two weeks. Then I put down a half box with a little date night sticker to mark that we were going to watch bull riding at seven with my aunt. Um, it was the closest sticker that I had to mark that. I don't really have any bull riding stickers, although I definitely need some because I do go to rodeos a lot. So if you know where I can get some, leave a comment down below. At the bottom, I just put down a piece of washi with a Netflix kind of night penguin from my planning addictions to mark that we would probably binge sh Shameless, which didn't end up happening because I didn't go back to college. Then on Sunday, I put down a plan next week sticker from the kit. And at the bottom, I just put down a little checklist that I cut up. Um, and I got cut off because I had to go find my gift card. I just used a Barnes & Noble gift card because the Ulta gift card that I usually use, um, I kind of lost it. And then I put a pink glitter header above it. And back at the top of Sunday, I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing the rest of that day. So I just left a half box blank. And below that, I put a um, car icon to mark that I had a few errands I needed to run. And here's where the lighting gets a little wonky because the sun was starting to set. But I just put down the rest of the deco from the kit. I put those 2018 ones towards the top um, and just kind of staggered them. And I put a few other little pieces of the deco here and there.
after I finish up with that, I'll just show you guys what I have left from the kit. For a mini kit, I do have quite a bit left over, honestly. Like, if I pulled in some other full boxes and some washi, I'd probably have enough to do a whole nother spread. And this was my first time using a Lily Amico Designs kit, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!